Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're moving over to chapter 11 now, and we're going to start with verse 1. And here's what we have at verse 1. Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Now this is an interesting little incident here. We might just zoom past it. But, but stop and think about this for a minute. The disciples come upon Jesus. He is engaged in prayer. Imagine, imagine if you will, that you were able to, uh, to look over there and watch Jesus and listen to Jesus pray. You know, he may have been praying out loud. It would be something you'd want to pay attention to. And the disciples did. They didn't interrupt him. And Jesus completed his praying. And then they, they were so taken as by what they had seen, by what they perhaps had heard, that they said, hey, please teach us to pray. And that wasn't the only thing they said. They weren't just taken by Jesus' example, but they said, teach us to pray also like, like John the Baptist taught his disciples to pray. This is another interesting piece here because the Bible doesn't tell us very much about the prayer of John's disciples. Uh, so there's something the disciples must have been aware of, Jesus' disciples, that we are not exactly aware of. It wasn't recorded in any particular detail for us in the scripture about the prayer of John's disciples. Nevertheless, there was something about that that stood out to them, and we're going to look these next few mornings just verse by verse. We're going to work our way through this, what we call the Lord's Prayer, and we're going to be looking into this just a little bit deeper. So there was something about Jesus' prayer that, that inspired them. It led them to think about the prayer of John the Baptist's disciples, and they knew that they didn't have it, but they knew that they wanted what Jesus had, and they knew that they wanted also what the disciples of John had. And this also is interesting, too, because it puts them together, right? John the Baptist and Jesus are on the same team, God's same team. And so that's an important piece here. And if we can learn to pray as Jesus prayed, how, how can we top that? And so that's exactly what Jesus is going to do for us now as we go through this, this little, very short uh, prayer. But we're going to do that here these next few mornings. Uh, we can start simply by desiring, oh, that, that God would teach us to pray like Jesus prayed. And that's exactly what he's going to do these next few mornings. For now, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we just pray, uh, as we normally do, we ask you to uh, come down, intervene in our lives, show us the patterns, show us the way to do things, show us the things that you designed us, Lord, and you also have optimized uh, prayer to be the perfect communication between fallen man and redeeming God. So now, Lord, we would ask, bless us and help us to come into full communion with you through prayer today and in these other mornings. Teach us, Lord, to pray. Teach us to pray like Jesus did. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. There's our goal, and let's see what, how we do with that the next couple of days. May the blessings of God be upon you for this day.